Improvements have been made to the Composite Curve Creator in PowerShape 2015 R2. I will first of all demonstrate what happens in previous versions of PowerShape. I'm going to zoom into an area of my part here. All I want to do is create a composite curve around the edge of this face here. I'm going to go to my composite curve creator, select this edge, and I can start clicking around. And I've got to click many times simply to just get across a simple face like so. If I go over to PowerShape 2015R2, I've got exactly the same part, it's just coloured differently. I'm going to zoom into the exact same area and I want to create my composite curve. If I select that edge, it's going to run all the way from the edge of one face until there's a break in that face and then ask me which way to go. So in three simple clicks, I can create the composite curve that I wanted to. If I go back to a previous version of PowerShape, I will demonstrate this on another feature. For example, if I want to create a composite curve around this top edge here, I can select this edge. You can already see it's fragmented and I have to click multiple times to get along even straight spans. However, if I go to PowerShape 2015 R2, I will create a composite curve around the same feature. You will see that my composite curve goes from all the way along one span until it hits the edge of a face and then in a few simple clicks I can create a composite curve around the entire top edge like so.